Before we go any further, I thought I'd give you a bit of background about me and my story. So let's start from high school. When I first started in year seven, I worked hard and said yes to everything. I was the dork in the school play and even played the tuba for a year. I wanted to do well at school and I liked to challenge myself. I kept the same mentality all through high school and set the bar high. I even worked when we were still building our house. By the time year 12 came around, I was aiming to get a 95 enter score to put me in the best university in Australia. I worked hard, worked the system and ended up getting a score of 95.9 and a guaranteed entry into what I thought was my dream course. I hated university, but I graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce and majored in Finance and Marketing. I now work for myself, travel the world, create content and help others through fitness. Did I even need my degree? Probably not. Do I use it daily? I doubt it. But if I could do it all over again, would I change anything? Absolutely not. So, here's my advice to you. So guys, the other day I was having a chat to my cousin Dill. Shout out Dylan, you're probably watching this, we definitely are. And he just finished school, so we're talking about like, you know, what he wants to do and he doesn't really know. And I feel like I was in a good place to say, you know, here's what, here's what I did. And because like I went through high school and I feel like, I feel like I did it quite well. Like I wanted to do well, I wanted to get, I got the score that I wanted to get. And then I feel like coming out from that as well, being in the position I am now, it's like, I've got a good uh, perspective, a bit of good insight onto like, you know, if that was good for me. And I feel like I could give you guys some advice and depending on where you are, whether you're in school now, thinking, should I even try right now? I don't, I don't know what I want to do. If you feel a little bit lost or if you just finish school and then you think what's going to happen now? Cause it, it, it like at the time I remember, it feels like it's the most important thing in the world. So, um, so a little bit of perspective, oh, that's what I'm going to try to give you guys today and, uh, and hopefully some decent advice. So I'm going to the gym very soon. It's a very average day here in Melbourne, but hopefully this one's going to come out. So I'm going to whip up a, a meal, pre-workout meal. I actually don't even know what I'm going to have. I'm experimenting with like lower carbs pre-workout. So apologies if you guys, if you're not into fitness because, um, I am technically a fitness channel. So you guys might have to fast forward a little bit of the, the fitness talk, but anyway, I'm going to put this uh, camera down and make some, make some food, man. Okay, so I'm just gonna dice up some foods here, cook for a brekkie, and, um, and I'll have a chat as we go. So, I guess I'll talk, the, let's make this first bit of, of the video about, um, to the guys that are currently in school. They're kind of thinking like, do I need it? Should I try? Whether it's like, that's like, you know, year eight to year 12, essentially. And I'll tell you like what I did. So, really for me, I, like I said, I tried the whole way through. So I really tried my, like my hardest from year seven all the way through. Um, and I don't consider myself particularly intelligent. I feel like I just worked hard. I figured out what the school, what teachers wanted, what made good results, and I and I kind of used it to my advantage. So I feel like I did well. And now I, like I said, I barely use what I did. I barely use my degree, like a little bit, but it definitely didn't really impact. I probably could have done without it. But with that being said, I don't regret anything because what it did teach me is is the, like the ability to work hard and back yourself in. So like I was saying this the other day is that if you like do what I did and work really, really hard in school and, and show that you can get good results, it, it did proves to yourself that you can do things. So because I was successful in school, I actually, I believed um, in myself a lot more. So I know it's, it sounds cheesy, but I just did. Like I, I then I thought, okay, cool. If I apply myself in another area, I can smash it because I just proved it here. I'm flopping around with bacon, sorry. Um, but that's, that was like my train of thought is that I thought, okay, well, if I can work really hard and get be in the top percent of in the class for this, or if I always pride myself on getting really, really good results, it's kind of like you get used to like doing well. So like I expected my, like 90s for most subjects, assignments, whatever it was, because I knew that I could. Like if you don't prove to yourself that you can smash it and be the best in the class, best in the year or whatever, then when it comes down to it later, you're gonna think, okay, this this is pretty tough for me to do well, well right now. So I think it's like, if you get used to doing well and succeeding and prove to yourself you can get those marks, it doesn't matter if you use them later or not, you know, it's like you've just proven to yourself that you can be, you can be better and you can be the best at something. It doesn't matter what it is. So I think that instilled a lot of self-belief in me because it's confidence. It's literally confidence. It's like, if you're always done bad at something, why would you wake up one day and think, okay, I can do well? You're not going to believe it. Like really, you're not. You, you need to prove it to yourself. So I recommend those years at school, like those early years of pr like, just prove it to yourself that you can, that you can do these things, that you can do well. If you put your mind to something, you can be the best at it, you know? So I think that helped me because then from then on, I had a bit more of a, like I said, that, that self-belief where I thought I can do whatever I really want. But I know for a fact, I know myself, if I didn't do well, if I didn't get those 90s or whatever, 
I, I, would have, I wouldn't have thought I could do things. I would have thought maybe I'm just a dumb kid, maybe I'm not meant for this, and then I would have backed out. So I think no matter what your goals are, guys, like no matter what, whether that's you wanna do well in school, you wanna to get to uni, whatever it is, I still think try. There's no, there's no point in not trying. I mean, if, if you know exactly what you wanna do and you think, okay, I'm gonna do, like Joel, is a, he owns his own carpentry business now, he's a, a chippy smashing it. Uh, he didn't need school at all, so he didn't go to uni. Um, and if you guys are the same and you think, I know what I want to do, I don't need this, then apply yourself somewhere else. And you can you can do that. You can work when you're younger if you want. But the most important thing is to not let yourself feel like a loser. So don't think, oh, I can't do that. It's like, prove to yourself you can do something, whether that's smashing in school, whether that's going out and working and getting it done and learning more. It's like, you need to apply yourself so you can actually get the confidence. So I think my general advice to those like still in school is to just do your best because you never know, you need to prove to yourself what you're capable of. So I didn't know what I was capable of until I hit year seven and I was smashing it. I'm like, this is cool. I'm at the top of the class, this is awesome. And I just kept, I tried to keep that up as best as I could because then like later when I got to uni, I thought, you do class yourself as you know up there with the guys who can do you know the best so i think for me it's a confidence thing and i would recommend everybody just to try your best like literally just give it a crack what's the worst that can happen i mean just knuckle down figure out the system like i figured out you know how to do the best for me how my brain works with that it's annoying because like the system isn't for everyone it's like it doesn't really mean shit. it's like if you can read a book and then talk shit about it in an essay it doesn't mean anything you know but even still, it's like, it's just a good little thing to, to be able to prove to yourself. So if you can take away one thing from this, it's that you need, it's good to smash it, work hard because it'll, it'll carry over in every other aspect because you'll consider yourself in, I know this sounds bad, but you'll consider yourself like better, like with the ability to be better than, than everyone else, you know? So it's not like you think you're better than people, but you think I can be, I can be there, you know? You, you won't put yourself, you won't put a ceiling on yourself and think, I can't get there. It's like, if you can prove to yourself that you can be good and you can be successful, even if it's just something as simple as school, it's like you, that belief carries over to other areas. So um, that's the one thing I wanted to get off my chest. Now I'm gonna finish up cooking this strange omelet and, um, and then we'll head to gym pretty soon. So I've just sourced it up, looks a bit, Looks a bit disgusting now, but <clears throat> no, guaranteed taste, <laughs> taste mint. So I'm gonna get this down, guys, and then it is time for gym. And we have a big workout coming up today, so I've gotta get ready. All right, see you in a bit. So, gym time. And we have here the Oxy PSI combo with the new off the bone shaker. So guys, if you haven't got this, link in the description, get your hands on one. Oh, and there is a new exciting um, pre-workout potentially coming soon to EHP Labs. But more on that later. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. Um, now, guys. So I hope I didn't uh, ramble too much earlier before. But I don't want you guys to feel like you're pigeonholed. That's that's the main thing here. Because the worst thing, in my opinion, is is feeling like you are not capable of doing things. I was thinking uh, again after I spoke. So I thought, if school isn't your thing and you don't like that, you'd much prefer to go out and do other stuff. Or you're not sure. It's like just. Just do something, that's the that's the main thing. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do when I finished school. That was the, I had no clue. I just thought I'll do a business course because it's quite ge like generic and I can apply it to something and I'll figure it out somewhere along the way. Which I did, and I, fig I figured out what I wanted to do, but it took me a few years. So that's another thing too, is that like, if you're in school and you, you, you don't have to know, that's the thing, you don't have to know what you wanna do. They always expect you to know and have your shit figured out when you're 17. It's like, when I was 17, I was a complete, I was a kid. I was a completely different person when I was 18 than I'm when I'm now. So uh, lucky, I what I did was I followed my interests and I tried to I like didn't give up on my passion, which is fitness and entertainment and stuff like that. So I chased that as hard as I possibly could, and I worked hard in every other aspect. So because you don't want to limit yourself. So like I don't want you guys to think, nah, it's not for me. I'm gonna drop out, and then you'll be in a position where you're limited with your options. The way, the way I saw it is that the more opportunity you have, the better. So I thought, w why not get a good degree? You know, if I use it, who cares? But it's like, you're, you're so young, you guys have so much time. So that's why, um, if you don't know what you, you wanna do, I still think there's no harm in finishing, in finishing school and working your best. Why not do your best? Um, but, and if you do know what you wanna do and you wanna go say work in like, in a trade or whatever it is, then awesome. So go ahead, smash it, go all in, learn as much as you can. And, and try to be the best at that. So the way I see it is that you may as well be, do the best you possibly can. There is no excuse in my opinion for, for not 
striving for the best. Uh, the only person that's telling you that you can't do it is you. So it's like you may as well prove to yourself that you can, and then you'll end up thinking that you're that type of person that does well. So when I got to uni, like at Melbourne, I was at Melbourne Uni, and I was with some of the smartest people that I've ever seen because these kids all got above 95. Like I was then in a class with the best, like I guess up there with the best of the best in terms of like academic performance. So I, w I felt like I didn't belong there looking around. I'm like, these kids are all geniuses. And I was like, I'm just me, a <laughs> weirdo. And, um, and so it felt like I was, I didn't belong there. So I, because I also at uni, I probably could have tried harder. It's like, I didn't give it my hundred percent best. I just thought I'll scrape through um, and I'll pass. But even still, I mean, I, I finished it. So if I could go back, would I try even harder at uni? Maybe, but the thing is, I had so much on my plate with this, I was doing all of this that I'm doing right now and also at uni. So um, I had to juggle time very carefully and I didn't, and I had to follow what I love. So, um, but at the same time, I could have dropped out and I didn't. I actually did get offered a job, maybe as soon as I was about to finish, like just third year uni, I got offered a job from um, this guy that I knew at gym and he said, he promised me, oh, he didn't promise it, but he said, you could be getting this amount of money, it was insane. And, um, and he said, you want to take it, you're going to have to kind of stop everything you're doing now. Basically, like he said, if you take this, you have to live and breathe it. There's no more YouTube, no more social media. And I was kind of just still, still growing. I wasn't making much money from doing what I'm doing. And I was kind of just, just finding my feet. Um, but I had to follow my gut and I had to be like, man, I can't stop doing what I love for the promise of money. So, um, I said, thank you, but no. And thank God, like now I look back at it, I'm like, thank God I, I didn't take it because I would have been selling myself short. So that's like, you guys can, take something something from that as well and it's like you may as well um, chase what you love and what you want what you think even if you don't know what you want to do but what you think you might be interested in like chase that hard but at the same time don't give up on everything else because you want to keep your options open so that's um that's my advice there is keep your options open do as much as you can and just work hard and guys i will leave it at that for now because i'm going to go tear this session up so um time to tear these chest shoulders and triceps entirely off their bone let's do it So, gym is done. Um, actually smashed it. It was a really good workout. Anyway, guys, the last thing, kind of thing I wanted to touch on is um, still on the topic of, you know, school and... It, but it's just a different, it's a different point. So you, this is for the people who say, because I know it's like about that time now where you just finished exams. So maybe you are 18 and you just finished year 12, you just finished exams and you thought, ah, oh, maybe I didn't do, maybe I should have tried harder, maybe I didn't do well, or you thought you completely f***ed it, it, which is okay. Um, and that's what I want to tell you guys is, is that's also okay. So it doesn't, as much as I think it's, it's helpful and it's beneficial to, to try your hardest and do, do as best as you can, if for whatever reason, you didn't and it didn't go as well as it could have and then really like don't stress like that's the biggest thing is just don't stress the biggest like a uh, piece of advice I have for you guys is to you need to chase what you like what you love right so you need to chase your passion so if that wasn't school and you didn't want to do that then forget it what's done is done okay forget about it apply that level of discipline that you could have applied in school to something else all right um, and that's that's the the biggest like takeaway from this so don't think that you're a failure because you didn't do well or because you completely flopped it or you didn't get into the course you want to get into it really doesn't matter right so i remember when i finished school i had my number one choice was um, melbourne uni and i thought i didn't really have a second it was either i had to get 95 as an enter score which is pretty difficult or the next choice that i had was like a 70 i was like stuff it i didn't even give myself a, a second option because i thought i have to i put like that pressure on myself i'm like i have to do it which was not good because I mean, if I didn't get that score, I would have been so upset. Like I would have been pretty, I would have been in a bad place because I built it up so much and put so much pressure on myself. So 
I understand, like, if you guys are sitting there stressing out, thinking, like, this is the end of the world if it doesn't go your way. It is, I get it, because I've been there. Um, but it's also, like, I've also been through it and think, okay, well, I didn't even need that, you know? So, really, I didn't need any of what I did. But I'm so glad that I, I did it, I finished it, whatever. I didn't limit my opportunities. Uh, I got it done. And that's what I think you guys should do as well, is if you're in the position where you can finish and get it done, do it, great. Um, but if it's like, what's done is done, don't stress about it. There's no point stressing about it. It's just the tiniest bit of, of your life. Like it's the tiniest bit. It's not very important. It's not gonna dictate anything, okay? You know, just because you couldn't identify the correct persuasive technique in some random person's uh, article, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna be a successful person, okay? So, but the way that they drum it into at school kind of feels like that, because it feels so important. So I guess I'm here to tell you guys that to sum it up, if you can try hard, do it, just to see what you can do, that's it. And to give yourself more opportunity and options, that's another reason. But if for whatever reason you don't like it, you don't like school, you don't wanna do that, then find something else that you love. So this is where my advice to you guys uh, is also to just literally dial in on what you love, what your interests are, and what you're, you know, what you're good at, and just go all in on that. So it could just be as something as simple as if you like fitness, then maybe like ask a company if you can work for them for free. Like, you know, when Gymshark approached me, they approached me, it, was, it wasn't a paid gig, it wasn't a paid job at all. It was, hey, do you wanna be basically um, an affiliate and you can get some commission if you make some sales. So really that was like an unpaid work. I, I would have paid, I would have literally paid to be to be affiliated with Gymshark. So the money wasn't an option, okay? So you guys need to sacrifice a little bit. It might, it might be that, like you might need to sacrifice some money to volunteer somewhere that you wanna learn or work in. I feel like you can't lose in that situation because all you can do is gain some experience and connections. So if you're really confused and you think, I do not know what I wanna do right now and you, you really find yourself in a bit of a rut, just think, okay, what do I like? What am I passionate about? What would I like to see myself doing? And just and just get there. So just like work towards that. So if you're in that position where you think, I have no clue what I wanna do, then what I would suggest is to find what you love, find your passion, what you're good at maybe, and identify a company or someone that you, you can see doing that and just ask if you can work, ask if you can volunteer your time, whatever you can do, just make connections, meet people, learn things. You can't lose like that. You literally can't lose. All you're gonna do is win. So, and hopefully, you know, you never know what that can lead to. So um, I think that's, an, that's a good way of starting if you don't really know where to start. It's like, you know, find a company or someone that's it's within that kind of niche or industry and just go from there. Because like what you think you want now is completely different to what you want in five years or something, you know, you never know. So, so that's one thing I learned is that what I thought I wanted in when I was 17, which was to be some, you know, something in business or whatever. I mean, I really didn't like uni. I didn't like studying that. It was a little bit interesting, but it wasn't the greatest thing ever. And I wasn't passionate about it. So I knew that I wasn't going to do that. But back when I was 17, I thought this is what I want to do. And it wasn't. Okay. So it's like what you want now might not be what you want in five years time. And the only way to know is to go out there and just try shit. Like go out and work for people, go out and travel, go out and talk to other people. Just don't limit yourself and don't limit your options. Like that, and just don't stress. That's like the main thing is don't freak out. That's why I wanted to make this video. If I can have at least one person that is a, that can calm down a little bit from this, perfect. That's like, that's me done, okay? So I just don't, I don't want you guys to freak out because it seems like it, the world can cave in a little bit, but it's like, I've been there. People look at me and think, oh, I'm so jealous of Zach. It looks like he's got his life sorted. I'm still figuring this shit out, you know? I still am working on myself and I still experience the same stress and pressures that I did six years ago when I had no direction. It's like, I, it's everybody's in a similar boat, um, but the best thing that you can do for yourself is to just have a bit of direction and work hard. And but like, that's why it goes back to the beginning of this video when I was saying that you need to believe that you can do whatever you like. You need to believe that you can be at the top or the elite if you want to and if you, if you work for it. It's literally, you can't just tell yourself that shit and pretend like it's all good. You really have to believe it. So prove to yourself however you can. Um, that's really, that's that. Um, and guys, before we go today, I do want to give a shout out to Audible. So Audible sponsored this video. If you don't know who Audible are, you're an absolute Muppet. Like you may as well be Kermit the Frog sitting there with your little green suit with a hand up. Yep. Anyway, so Audible basically includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, news, comedy, 
everything. Like you know, it's just, it is a godsend. So I've used Audible for a long time. Um, mainly when I do my cardio, when I'm just walking, like walking outside, I'd get it done because it's just hours that you clock up. So um, any any kind of audiobook you want to listen to, my favorites are Can't Hurt Me. I mentioned that in the last one. That's amazing by David Goggins. That will make you feel like you're an absolute boss. Just started 12 Rules for Life as well. That's also really good. And I also finished Sapiens, which was super interesting. So if you want something a little bit different, um, I recommend those, but definitely start with Can't Hurt Me. If you haven't listened to that, uh, definitely get on it. And for my viewers as well, uh, guys, if you go to www.audible.com forward slash Zach Perna or text Zach Perna to 500, 500, you will get a 30 day free trial as well as one free audiobook and two free Audible originals. So you may as well get nothing to lose, give it a go. Um, let me know which books you guys listen to because um, there's a few good ones out there and I, I need to update and get on some new ones as well. Um, but guys, that is it for me. That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope it, it, it kind of cleared up a little bit and it gave you a bit of like insight into how I see things in my perspective. And maybe coming from my point of view, if you guys might look up to me as a role model and it's like, I still haven't figured everything out and I'm still working on it, but I'm confident that I can get there. So that's, that might be the difference. So um, guys, that is it from me. It's a bit of a different video today. It was a little bit more serious, um, but this is a serious topic because some people can really get them, it can really get them down and there'd be kids going through anxiety and depression and this is, you know, might make things a lot worse, feeling like the world's just caving in on you, okay? So I'm here to tell you that it's all right. It's gonna be all right. Just find your passion, work hard, focus on what you enjoy, and guys, chase that. Just chase that direction and you will be sweet. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and you definitely, definitely know what to do. Stay massive. Slide into your DMs in the PM and the AM. Then I slide into your feelings when you see just what I'm saying.